So good night, Miss Brenda. Um, I'm making this video. I'm actually at a hospital, so but asking you if I wear my mask, I know. But anyways, um honestly I'd be I'd be really honest about my my after grad journey and my you know the before the um graduation journey as well. Well what I've learned on Friday in class is that there's so much resources and opportunity for us grad graduates, upcoming graduates that we could use, you know, to pursue um our education going forward. And there's so much information that we could start with. And I feel like for me I'm gonna actually take a week, maybe like the last week before prior before school close off in April. I can look at my options and see where I'm at and stuff like that because I'm still trying to figure out like what I wanted to really do. My goal, my set goal is to finish this program and bridge off to Trent University and do the same child and youth care program and just get the degree in child and youth care. But now I'm telling myself, should I take a break or should I not? But as I said, you know, I want my hope and my dream and reality is always to just go right into school and then just keep going and it's done. But the four months break is going to really help me mentally, physically, you know. And I feel like I don't want to regret not going in September because I feel like I'm on a path and I don't want to like just drop off the path because of how I look at things, you know. Things because everything is still new and fresh with me. I don't want to like you know rush it i'm gonna take my time and you know i'm already done attend a few orientation from trent university i also look at my transcript transferring from the college to the university the fees are expensive but at the end of the day that's not really the part the point you have to do what you got to do if you want to sacrifice for a good education and then I'm also looking for like any help or stuff. There's so much things I'm doing, but at the same time, I'm just trying to have peace with myself and just allow the journey to flow. But just enjoy while I'm doing it, like enjoy the experience. So coming to class on um, on Friday and watching you know, all the speakers, guest speakers speak about the indigenous courses, and that could be another one of me. I did the Jeanette. I'm sorry, I did the you know, for in indigenous course sorry first nation course i did it from year one to year two and year three it's an amazing course because it helps me to understand different things in the first nation history and the indigenous people and the community and the culture the land and the you know different different things the residential school and the society and they you know the reserve and so much things i mean my i'm currently doing the last course now i'm also applying for graduating in that course in that program that part-time learning program so he was talking that this is not also the really good essentials for us to use when we um you know graduating put on put that on our linkage or on a resume that people th if when we're getting higher people could see that we have a background of, you know in first nation culture history so that's something i take away on friday class definitely a learning lesson for me and Jeanette is so important like people don't understand, understand the value of how much you would learn taking the Jeanette courses year after year after year and the, of course my challenge you um, courses also highlight why i'm here so honestly i was really moved by the class that the amount of resources that you could use while you know by preparing for graduation and also after graduation so i also saw that you posted some information like um higher centennial cover letter resume and or that on our portfolio you know that, that that class on friday was really a good class for us to use all information we gain on Friday to add to our e-portfolio, so our resume or whatever we're doing for post grad. So yeah, I want to say thank you. You know, I really enjoyed our class, and I wanted to who all to the speakers. Thank you for the information I did share, and it really helps me a lot because honestly, I don't. Even, I'm starting. I'm just like they're still in the new part of it. I feel like every day is gonna get better and stuff like that, and I'm just enjoying the last part of being in school and yeah this journey is now starting and i'm gonna see what it takes me i'd rather do a video because i don't know if i want to reflect i'd rather just write a video instead of like you know the videos wouldn't really help me to talk about what's my next, what's my next opportunity i mean sorry my next stop when it comes to my education so yeah